Hi everyone, Mary Lou here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time with us, I'm glad you've joined us. This channel has much to do with organizing uh, our craft spaces, our living spaces, decluttering, decluttering our space, our time, our food and all kinds of other things. And so it's tax season. So we're all going through paperwork, pulling files. And so this is a great time to declutter your paper and set up systems that will work to manage your paper all year long. Now in this bookcase, uh, we manage a lot of paper, but it is a mess. It's a disaster. Uh, this is in a, a little office of my husband's. And so we have certain systems here that work and some that don't. But no matter what, if you have a system that works, it still has to be uh, tweaked, fine-tuned, and decluttered periodically. And so I haven't really touched this for a year, and so it starts to accumulate. And that's how our systems go, even if it's a really good system that works. So this is a great time to revisit your system, say to yourself, this works, this doesn't, but we do need to always be maintaining our systems. So that's what we're doing today. So I want to point out three things that work in this uh, bookcase. And this is an office, so it's paperwork and, and things that uh, we have to keep track of through the year. And even though it's a mess, this box, it says shred on it. Uh, those are the things that come in, um, junk mail that has personal information on it that needs to be shredded. That actually works great because Anne likes to uh, work the shred machine. So a few times every year we get that down and she shreds everything. And just having a big old box for shred is a system that works. If you look at it now, it's a big mess because we just keep stuffing things in there. But that's a system that works. Just have a spot for shred. I don't want to shred every day. And so uh, just keeping it there works. Another system that works in this space are these binders. And uh, I like them. They're colorful. They're all labeled. Uh, I would say that five of these I use at least on a weekly basis, sometimes more, and some of them not so much. But this system has worked, but I really do need to fine tune it and clean it up. And the other system that works has been using this um, little sort of plate divider and these folders that I get from the dollar store. I love them, they're pretty heavy duty, and I label them and then I reuse and reuse and reuse. And these are uh, some of the ones that I use most often. And so they just go right in that system and I can just pull them out and find them over and over. Let me show you one thing I did this year to help us with our taxes that I think is, is uh, really helpful. I've made some notes about all of the different things uh, with our taxes that we have to do and that I have to make sure is uh, ready every year. And every year I kind of go, okay, now what is it I need to do? So what I've done is I've pulled together what I am calling our tax prep guides. And it's just kind of copies of what we did this year. I made copies of sort of a cover sheet for different parts of our taxes and just put them in there so that next year I just pull that out and I don't have to rethink what is it I need to do as I go through our files for our taxes. That has been real helpful. Okay, so if you look at the, the other areas, you see, wow, there is just a lot of clutter. Things just get stuffed in this space. I'm going to get all of this actually out of this space. As I take things out, I'm going to sort through them, figure out what we need to keep, what we don't. So I'm hoping this won't be a huge job because uh, we've done our paperwork for our taxes and uh, it's there waiting for uh, the accountant and other things. And so uh, we're just going to empty these shelves and tackle this bookcase. I'm going to clean off this shelf and I'm kind of in a debate because this uh, bookcase is kind of tall and I'm not, unfortunately. And so I actually have a bookcase when I did my book declutter last year. I have a bookcase. It's nicer, it's more sturdy, it is not as tall, and I might go ahead and shift out. So that's in the back of my mind. I don't wanna go and buy something new. I'm trying to actually 
uh, not buy anything that could collect clutter, bookcases, tables, things, not buying those because I want to keep my clutter under control. And as we buy places to store things, our clutter tends to increase. So we want to keep our horizontal surfaces, places where clutter can collect to a minimum and have really only what we need. Okay, here we are, everything off of the top. I think it was four shelves, the bits and pieces. You notice I don't have the colorful binders here. This is about as much as I think I can manage uh, in the next day or so. I don't want to put my house in complete disarray in order to do this project. So I think I can get through these papers, I'll get the shredding done and uh, sort through what we've got here, decide what to keep, what to shred, what to throw away, and even possibly some goodwill and even some memory things uh, that would go uh, with my with our memory boxes. And so we're just going to go through and figure out what to do with each item on the table. If, if you have used checks in the past, these things uh, may need to go with your taxes if uh, there are things that you paid for that are tax deductible. Otherwise, these can be torn apart and shredded. Uh, if you're using them for uh, for any business things, uh, if it's something you need to keep, generally the generally the guideline is seven years, and I have a system for circulating our things and keeping them seven years and then throwing out. I'll show you that in another video. But these can go, you can shred them if you don't need them for taxes. We're going to have a pretty uh, hefty recycle pile because paper, best thing to do is recycle. And so I know we will have a pretty big pile of that. When you're taking care of paper, it's important to touch each, each piece of paper and make a decision because what happens is in our paper clutter, sometimes very important things might be uh, stuffed in there. And I know it's irritating, but you kind of need to go through each piece. Now, while I'm doing this, you're seeing me come and go. Well, uh, the thing is, a lot of what's here doesn't belong at all within the paper clutter realm. And so I'm just taking it and putting it where it belongs. One thing I suggest is getting rid of credit cards. Uh, when I started really working on decluttering our finances, one of the first things I did is went through to see which credit cards we could get rid of. I now actually don't own a credit card. I use a debit card for everything, and I know that's coming straight out of my checking account. And then I have a system for paying down anything left on credit cards. So I would really recommend shredding as many credit cards as you can to declutter your finances. Here's something I don't know what to do with. It is a camera that I had to buy when I was doing my master's program. Just for all of the exams, I had to have a proctor somewhere watching me take the exam. So I had to have a camera hooked up to my computer. I have no idea what to do with this. Do any of you have any suggestions? It's not something that I can record with. And so I'm just not sure what to do with it. If you have any suggestions for that, let me know in the comments below. And if I don't hear any good ideas, I guess I'll send it to Goodwill because I don't know what else to do with it. Okay, I'm about halfway through with all the piles on the table. Uh, I've been at it 15 minutes, so it's gone actually pretty quickly. In that space, I found that weirdo camera thing. I have found recipes, piano music, legal documents, uh, more things for taxes, um, uh, original printouts for some of my health tracking, uh, lots of notebooks, um, 
things for uh, juicing and smoothies and house documents, all kinds of things that are just everywhere. So the problem with that, when we let our paper get out of hand, is we start to misplace things that are important. And it's really vital that we have our paper under control, that we have an idea of what to keep and what not to. And going through it like this tells me, okay, there are certain things that I'm just not even going to keep anymore. I'm just gonna let them go. Magazines, I'm gonna, when we're done reading them, they're going into recycle because I don't need to keep them anymore. Uh, so this process is, I think, really helpful and really important for maintaining a home that is well run, uh, where we have what we need, we're not misplacing things that are important. And my shred pile is definitely growing. Okay, here's a good example of why we keep track of our papers. I just found a whole slew of receipts from 2022 that were all tax deductible and they're not in with those taxes. So I know that we lost out on some of those deductions. I don't know why they were in this weird spot, but they were. And so a good example of why we keep track of our paperwork. And right now, while I'm busy sorting and going through things, uh, some of those things like goals, I'm just going to put in a pile to deal with uh, in their own time. Right now is not the time to sit down and figure out every page of every notebook. It's just that if you can go through and quickly decide is that notebook a keep or get rid of, that's great. Uh, but if you've got notes in it that you're going to want to attend to, set that aside to do and make sure you put it on your to-do to list to deal with that at a separate time. Okay, I've got quite a stack of uh, things to go into recycle. I'm in the middle of doing my shredding some goodwill, memories, goals, uh, some other papers I need to go through. And then look at this stack of notebooks uh, that are blank, plus a huge stack of things like those envelopes I like, some folders, page protectors, huge stack. I don't know how we'll ever use all of those. So I just, I feel pretty good about this, that we're really paring it down to what is essential and what is essential is going into the correct files or the correct places so they can be dealt with. Just a little note about things that go in the shred. We get so much junk mail. And if I kept everything that was like this, we would have so much shred. So what I've started doing is just tearing off the part of the uh, item that has sensitive information, rest I recycle, and then all I need to do is a quick shred on these small bits. And the shredding that used to take me a couple of days because I got tired of doing it or our shredder kind of gave out, with this system I can get all the shredding done very quickly in just, oh, half hour or so. Alrighty, so we are going to stop right here. Let me pull out a little bit so you can kind of see uh, where we've gone. This is the end of part one of our paper declutter and actually the bulk of our paper uh, has been dealt with, though we do have other things uh, that we're going to do and I have other things I'm going to show you in part two of a paper declutter. We've got a file and other things. But I want you to just notice the difference of these top shelves. Everything is off that very top that um, always makes me nervous to have a lot of stuff at the top like we did with the paper in case of an earthquake or something, uh, things can so easily fall off. So here's our shred box, basically empty, uh, ready to start receiving our bits and pieces again taxes ready to go to the accountant. That big huge pile that we had of notebooks and folders and page protectors, I have whittled it down to just this and so much of that I actually sent to Goodwill. Um, and so others can get those and use them as they need them during their paper declutter.
Uh, we now have some decor. I've got our system of items that we reach for pretty quickly. Uh, next year's tax prep guide uh, is ready for us. That takes up very little space. That we weeded down a lot. And then coming down below, this is where we're going. Uh, we've still got uh, our binders that I want to show you. I just didn't want this video to get too long. So I'll show you my binder system. I need to go through a couple of more shelves and get that paper down on a lower shelf. But compare this to what it was before. We have made so much progress. The total time it took me was probably around 45 minutes. And uh, I do have a pile of things that need to go through. We'll weed that down more as I go. So this feels so much better. So that is the end of part one. 12 wonderful tips to hopefully help you with your declutter efforts. And I'll see you next time for part two.